Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundforks. This, in this episode of Kerbal Engineering, we will be showing a KSP VTOL, a big VTOL Valkyrie. Um, this is also an asymmetric VTOL because it's not 100% equal around the center of mass as some of my previous designs. So today I will be showing you mainly how it flies, how it behaves. So now you can see me turning on the VTOL engines. Um, I've also enabled the RCS because I'm using Quistec Aerospace. Um, these vertical engines are, are beautifully designed uh, as a part of that mod and the cockpit and uh, the fuselage is made from the uh, OPT, Orbital Portal Technologies. I will be posting links to both of the mods in the description below. And here you can see I'm not using um, I'm not using any other mods in terms of like a balancing act uh, such as um, I don't recall the name of the mod, but uh, um, yeah. So this is just balancing it on its own, and I designed it using the RCS build aid, which was incredibly helpful in terms of designing asymmetric veto. And in the next video, I will probably show you how exactly did I build this craft. In the meantime, you can download the craft file from the Kerbal X. I will post the link to the actual craft file in the description. So you can download it. And um, this is not an SSTO, although initially I thought of designing an SSTO, but and then again... I thought, okay, first things first, let us first design a plane that will be heavy and it would be able to basically carry on a small science rover. The science rover is very small, but it's more like a proof of concept to see that we can really deliver something of value and probably uh, make sure that we can deploy it as well, because this is the first time that I'm using... A J cockpit and J components from the OPT um, mod. So as you can see I'm now this is a little bit time accelerated because you don't need to see every single detail of the flight. I'm sure pretty much most of you are adept in terms of flying craft. So now I'm using uh, B9 air brakes to slow down and I have shifted engines into the VTOL mode and I have disabled my um, horizontal engines and I'm angling slightly upward some 15 degrees on the horizon just to make that I slow down mid-air. So now that I have come to roughly 4.5 surface it becomes a little bit more tricky and challenging because you're basically dancing on a coin but I'm trying to maintain a level orientation as you can see me looking at the nav ball that I'm constantly dancing around the marker which kind of and at the same time I'm monitoring my surface airspeed and my shadow which I found to be incredibly helpful during the flight. So I'm balancing these to come somewhere atop of the runway in the on the island runway so um, I'm also showing this a little bit in time accelerations clearly I'm going a little bit slower than that and um, I have a crew of a couple of Kerbals that will try to deploy a science rover and just drive a little bit to basically demonstrate the viability of this craft. So slowly, ever so slowly, being monitoring my surface speed and my vertical speed a little bit on the panel above. And... Touchdown. Touchdown. Not too high speed, and uh, yeah, now I have to disable my VTOL engines, put everything in horizontal mode, disable RCS, and I will open the science base. So, as you can see, or not the science, but the cargo base. So, now I'm using uh, Infernal Robotics and I'm using Case AS winch to just decouple this small rover and winch it down safely. 
I really like, by the way, that OPT cargo bay can open both top and bottom. I find it incredibly useful, especially in this case. So I'm lowering a little bit down and I will decouple. By the way, this VTOL, to me, it reminds me a little bit of Star Citizen uh, Constellation because it also has this VTOL engines on both sides and it also deploys in the exploration variant, it deploys a rover. So this was clearly an inspiration in terms of design. So it loosely resembles the constellation. So we will have Bill board the... Oh yeah, and clearly he cannot board because the uh, plane is in the way. So let us just taxi the plane a little bit closer to the old um, old tower and make sure that we get the plane out of the way. So we taxi the plane away and we leave Bill and... Uh, or was it Bob? Ah, can't remember. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. And now we extend. By the way, in one of my previous episodes you have seen me build this uh, rover. I will also link the video where you can build this rover in the description below. So if you want to really build a rover, you can you know how to do it. It's one of the first episodes of the Kerbal Engineering. By the way, I didn't really plan on building this SSTO or, or this uh, plane, VTOL plane, but it just kind of happened because I got inspired finding these uh, components and finding the OPT, which I found incredibly cool. So first I wanted to take off vertically here, but once again I decided, let since we are already using a VTOL, why bother and try to um, take off and then turn towards the KSC when we can just taxi away and then point our plane back to the KSC and just take off on the spot. It is after all one of the benefits of using a VTOL that you can point it anywhere you like and just take off, you don't need a runway to accelerate. So now I pointed roughly to where I think KSC is put on the brakes, uh, disable the steering and now I'm putting down the air brakes, putting the VTOL engines in the VTOL mode and started to increase the thrust and you will notice that I have forgotten one tiny detail. I have forgotten to enable rear VTOL engines so now I have because we have four engines in the back that switch between horizontal and vertical takeoff mode. And it's those that I forgot to put in place. You will see them as I show you the rear of the craft. So yeah, basically these four turbines that are pointing downwards. And you will see them shift to the back as I switch to the horizontal flight mode. The trick here is once you get enough speed, somewhere around 70, that you just switch like this, yeah. And uh, when you switch those engines, then you are again in a horizontal flight, so wings are taking over, and that's it. Now, you don't really need to see me fly all the way to the KSC. Um, by the way, this uh, initial space plane had a flaw. Uh, I was trying to basically design it using the um, adjustable landing gear, but um, and o I only had three pieces of gear, which um, basically on the landing resulted in my plane becoming a giant fireball and sending Jebediah and uh, Bill to their um, to the infirmary. They did survive, however, they ended up in infirmary. So this, as you can see, the crew has changed some. This is the second landing attempt where I have replaced the adjustable B9 landing gear with the OPT landing gear that it's 
clearly capable of adding of withstanding a little bit more stress it's designed for a little bit heavier craft so the point is I didn't really want to demonstrate once again landing uh, horizontally so this is pretty much it for this episode I hope you liked the episode and if you would like me to see to construct the flight in the next episode please let me know in the comments below thanks again for watching this is Grumforks signing off